Welcome to a short video about the incredible slave-making ant. The behavioral biology of these guys truly enlightens us about the unimaginable complexity of nature itself. And if you thought the European colonialism was harsh, come have a look at what could be happening in your backyard. Imagine a trail is forming a set in your backyard. The surrounding microfauna, aware of the ferocious herd, hurries home. Because this is a trail of fire and blood. But one unfortunate colony seems to be unaware of the upcoming danger. And now, it is already too late to reconsider. The nest is quickly overwhelmed by the attacking army of the ferocious slave-making ants. They crush any whom dares to stand between them and their yearning, which is the black ant colony's babies. The babies are harmlessly stolen on an industrial scale back to the slave maker ant nest. The amount of ant babies stolen is up by the hundreds. And after tens of meters marching in a column-like formation, just like a single organism, the raiders revisit their nest and place their gatherings deep within the colony's underground tunnels. But why? Why do they send out awesome scouts that manage to find a new nest of a specific Formica species every day that they later every day again pinpoint to the entire colony that in a miraculous way manage to get there and back stealing thousands of eggs in the process? I mean this species looks super legit so the answer must be as well, right? Well, the reason is incapability. The incapability of caring for your young, like other ants, or the incapability of gathering your own food, like other ants, or apparently the incapability of eating your own food. I mean, from an evolutionary perspective, these guys shouldn't even be alive, but they came up with an ingenious solution. Slaves. If you can't do shit, why not make somebody else do it for you? Maybe as you have seen, their nest is full of red and black ants. The red ants, also known as the slave-making ants, have their own queen and rule the nest. But the black ants are the offspring of the stolen cocoons and eggs that were born into slavery. They care for the young in this nest, they hunt the food to feed the nest, and as mentioned, they first consume the food and then regurgitate it in a more digestible form to the other red ants. But now, let's learn how to keep these guys. First, you need to find a queen. One is often found during late August participating in raids, as she tries to overtake the raided nest by taking the existing queen's place. But being a queen in such chaos might have negative effects, such as this queen that apparently got attacked by your own sisters. This misunderstanding might be because of that all slave maker ants, including the queens, have something called a roofer gland that releases pheromones to pacify the other ants that they raid. This might, just under strange circumstances, trigger them to attack each other, since they are releasing pheromones, also used by another species. But yeah, try your best to catch a healthy queen. <laughs> I got this one after giving it a helping hand. Um, and then comes the tricky part, since this is a strictly parasitic ant species, therefore you need to introduce her to workers of a genus called Formica. Then it's pretty straightforward. Get one ant and just make sure it's the correct genus, and then you can introduce them to each other however you want. I used two connected test tubes. And now, let the interactions begin.
It might look stressful and bad for the queen, but believe me, she's made for this. Even when the other ant bites her, she's almost like a super armored killing ant machine. But after some hours of intimidating dance-offs, they both end up accepting each other's. It is quite ironic, to be honest. Hi, you're my queen, right? Uh, yes. You're the same species as me, right? Yes. You are my mom, right? Yes. Ah, that's why I look so damn ugly. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, after the first introduction, you can keep introducing ants depending on how big you want to start the colony. But you usually need more than three or four. How the queen treats her new slaves is really something to experience, in my opinion. It is really, how to say, um, strange. And yeah, don't forget to add additional brood, so that the ratio of ants in a colony is at least two black ants for every red ant. And thanks, this was a short non-vivarium video, but don't worry, those will come soon. And also, would you like to sometimes, in the future, see these guys in a vivarium? Please leave a vote above, and have a fantastic day!